So today we're looking at something a little bit special, and that is the Wemo Mini Smart Plug. So you may ask, this has been in the market a while. It's got Wi-Fi. It's pretty inexpensive. It's a good product. It supports Madame A, supports Google Assistant, right? It's not that special, but it is special. Why, you ask? Because it now supports Apple HomeKit. So there are lots of plugs that support Apple HomeKit, but the way this plug supports it is what is really, really, really exciting. And that's through the software authentication that was released in iOS 11.3. So what this feature does is this allows vendors who had products previously released in the market to add in HomeKit support without having to worry about that hardware encryption chip that was required, absolutely required in previous versions of HomeKit, right? So this is a really cool thing. So you can see on the box, there is no HomeKit logo here. Um, I know I always say to look for it, but in this case, you don't have to and you're not going to find it, at least not until there are more um, new boxes, new packaging in the market, right? So what's really cool about this is that, again, I bought this, when I bought this a couple weeks ago, um, it did not have HomeKit support. It did not have the uh, Apple MFI encryption chip in it. Um, none of that was there, right? So now I'm able to open this up and add this to my HomeKit system, control it through Siri, like all that good stuff, which is which is pretty cool, right? Um, there are other vendors out there, you know, this gives the opportunity, assuming you have the processing power in the device. Now that is something that uh, is gonna be interesting, is that not all devices will be able to be forward, um, uh, moved into HomeKit, simply because they just don't have the, the CPU, they don't have the, the memory, you know, those kinds of things, right? So don't expect this from all the vendors, but at least, you know, you can push, if you got a product that you really love, that you would love to see HomeKit support in, this gives them a path forward. And the fact that Wemo did this with the bottom of their line plug is pretty impressive because that sets the bar pretty low for other vendors. So as far as the uh, the unpacking here, you can see it's a plug. There's nothing nothing really special. Um, the setup is pretty pretty simple to say the least. You basically plug it in, you um, turn on the app, and you follow the instructions, right? So the other thing I do want to point out here that I like about this is if you look at the size of this, uh, it you can actually fit two of these in a standard North American plug. You can always manually turn it on and off right from the switch, which is cool. Now let's take a look at the Wemo app. So when you first log in here, you're going to have to uh, accept, you're going to have to give permissions for the Wemo app to see your home. Of course, we have to do that with all of our HomeKit enabled apps, right? And we're going to say, okay, it's a Wemo smart plug that we're going to be adding. So right now, it actually takes us through uh, this little um, little kind of wizard thing that says, hey, you're going to have to go out into your Apple home settings or your Apple uh, your device settings. You're going to have to connect the Wi-Fi to a Wi-Fi network that is currently being um, advertised by the Wemo plug. And then we're going to have to go through the uh, the setup. So let's go do that now. So skip over to the Wi-Fi settings on the iPad here. And you might have to uh, pull down. Possibly you might have to turn your Wi-Fi on or off to see this. But once you do that, you'll see that that Wemo plug will be available as a Wi-Fi network. So we're going to click on that and it's going to now connect to that Wemo plug directly. And so now we can skip back over to the app and be able to configure this thing. Okay, so let's skip back over to the app now. There we go, Conf opening the connection. Um, again, I'm at the 1.20, if that makes a difference for you. It's going to say, okay, cool, uh, let's get started. I can rename it here if I want. Do I want to remember the Wi-Fi settings? Well, of course I do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Wi-Fi settings in. I am going to put my email address in as well. I'll skip over the email address, and then we select the Wi-Fi network that we do want to attach to. So I'll also skip over the password part of that. You guys don't need to know that. And then now the we're going to be pushing those settings over to the Wi-Fi, uh, to the plug, the Wemo plug, so that when it comes back up, it's going to connect to our proper Wi-Fi network. So that's going to continue connecting to there. It's going to ask us about our notifications. Of course, we're going to accept that because we want to be notified when things happen. Um, and then now we're going to be taken back to the app. Your iPad should have moved back over to your normal network. And you will now see that the Wemo uh, Mini there is now available. So I'm going to show you guys the first time when I did this, which was a couple days after they announced this. I went and said, OK, hey, it's the Apple HomeKit is in here. Let's click on the Get Started. We have all these quick tips that gives us all these 
why will it require permissions and what do I do to operate Siri and what can I do with it and do I need the bridge? All those kind of stuff, you can go through that. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to update the firmware on this, right? So it applies to all devices. Um, this one here, the firmware here, you'll notice, was not the HomeKit firmware. So it may be that if you buy this right now, if you buy it today, you might not get access like I did to the HomeKit firmware required to be able to add this to Apple HomeKit, the software authentication piece. But if you come back after a few days, like I did, you may be suddenly uh, presented with the option to have new firmware. So the first firmware, that completed properly, no problem. So I'm gonna do a little video magic, come back here and you'll see, hey, would you like to connect this to the Apple Home app? Well, now I have another update. So this is actually, um, in that transition, there was about five days between the video in here, so real time. Uh, so now it says, hey, look at this. With this update, your Wemo Mini Smart Plug is compatible with Apple HomeKit. The Wemo Bridge is no longer required. So that's the software authentication piece. Woohoo! We will click the Update Now button and we'll let that go. So full disclosure here, the update never finished in the app, but it did finish on the device. So I ended up killing the app, coming back in, said, okay, cool, look at that. I now have that Connect button available to me. And when I tap on that, it says, which home do I want to connect to? So I'm going to pick the top one here. And just like magic, look at that. Add accessory. Do I want to add this? I'm going to say continue. And Wemo Mini. So I'm adding it in. And you'll notice here, there is no HomeKit code, right? Because there does there is no HomeKit code for this device. In the iOS 11.3, at least as far as I understand it, this is going to be generated um, at the time that you connect this. So if I was to disconnect this device, factory reset it, and re-add it into Apple HomeKit, it would actually have a different HomeKit code um, on the internal side. For us, it actually doesn't matter at all. And from here, it's just HomeKit. There's, there's no difference. Um, I can put this in my office. I can select the room. I could change the name of this if I want to, add it to my favorites. I can click on the, the type button and see, you know, I can set this up as a fan or a light or an outlet so I can uh, modify how I can address it through Siri. Last thing, I did get a little pop-up that says I'm gonna have to restart the Wemo app um, before I can really access Siri. But once I did that, I came back in, I got this, says, hooray, your Wemo mini minis are connected to the Apple Home app. There is only single, so it's really not plural. But it works, which is wonderful. So let's go take a look at the Apple iPad Home app and uh, see what we got. So now that we've got this in HomeKit, there is nothing special about this plug any longer. It is just like every other plug that you could buy on the market that home that it is HomeKit compatible and you control it exactly like every other plug, which is the great thing about HomeKit. All these other vendors, all these different vendors all coming together controlled in a consistent way in one ecosystem. Pretty cool. What do you guys think? Are you excited about uh, other vendors coming with software authentication? What vendor are you looking for? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Likes, always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, check out the notes below and you will find a coupon code for my Udemy class. Thanks.